What breakthrough is underlying the rapid advance that we're seeing now in digital AI models, but also with physical AI models? We're going to break that down for you right now using three examples from the physical AI space to explain exactly what's going on and what it means. Torque announces Flex Physical AI Platform, accelerated by NVIDIA for its autonomous trucks. You're going to see, after I give these examples, there's something huge going on that is changing everything. Blacksburg, Virginia-based Torque Robotics, which is a subsidiary of Daimler Trucks AG, announced at the NVIDIA GTC conference that it is collaborating with Flex and NVIDIA to develop its scalable compute system for autonomous trucks that it says is the first deployment of physical AI for autonomous long-haul trucking at production scale. Those last three words are key to the points we're going to make shortly. With Daimler Trucks Autonomous Ready Freightliner Cascadias with built-in redundancy, meaning Daimler Trucks is already building trucks that are fully autonomous capable right now today. And they build tens of thousands of trucks a year under different brand names. By leveraging NVIDIA's Drive AGX in vehicle compute, we were able to ensure a low-risk, high-confidence path to production scale. Physical AI is the core of the software stack. A key enabler is the AVA-supplied Atlas Automotive Grade 4D LiDAR. This allows trucks to make informed decisions about lane changing, braking, and obstacle avoiding. With this new architecture, Torque now leads the pack in autonomy. Torque collaborated with NVIDIA on a multi-chip adaptable architecture. It delivers the high compute performance, low latency, and multi-sensor connectivity needed for Torque's sophisticated autonomous trucking software. Torque is on a clear path to scalable production for its commercial launch in 2027, two years. Torque says that the NVIDIA and Flex solutions adhere to its stringent size, performance, cost, and reliability requirements, while meeting the total cost of ownership targets of its fleet customers pursuing nonstop, long-haul, driverless trucking integration. Flex partners across the entire trucking supply chain to enable mobility companies to launch next-gen technology with greater resilience and speed. So in October of 2024, Torque announced it had begun advanced validation of its autonomous trucks without a driver in a multi-lane closed course environment. And I talked about that previously. The validation milestone highlights Torque's entry into scalable product release. This is a key moment in our mission to build a profitable, scalable business as the world's leading autonomous solution. Torque said that the product validation milestone shows its commitment to rigorous safety and that the application is now mature. With its product validated, Torque, as I've mentioned recently on other videos, is launching its autonomous run from Houston to Dallas. Now we're working on the edge cases to make sure we're solving them and being able to have feature complete next year. So they're trying to make sure that the autonomy covers the totally freak, random, out of the blue things that are seen maybe once in a truck's lifetime. Simulation now plays a greater role in accelerating development. We use our simulation environment and specifically add on our generative AI synthetic data. That allows us to take the 11 million miles we already have in testing and go to hundreds of millions of miles in scenarios. Torque has publicly announced Schneider and CR England as customers. So that's number one to a huge point. Now, the next two are shorter, much shorter. Magna to integrate NVIDIA Drive Thor for next-gen vehicle intelligence. And Magna is one of the top three biggest tier one suppliers, meaning direct automobile manufacturing suppliers in the world. In other words, they facilitate 
making millions of cars every single year. Today at the NVIDIA GTI AI conference in San Jose, automotive mega supplier Magna International announced a program to integrate the NVIDIA Drive AGX platform within the company's next-gen advanced technology solutions. The Drive AGX Thor system on a chip runs the safety-certified Drive OS system. So Magna's system is already certified for safety, number one. And number two, there's a huge change related to what's happening in autonomy that will be explicitly stated in example number three. Using the accelerated compute performance and scalability afforded by the next-gen system on a chip, Magna will develop and test enhanced vehicle safety and comfort technologies such as the latest advancements in SAE Level 2 Plus through Level 4. So 2 Plus is self-driving, but your hands are still supposed to be on the wheel. Three is self-driving, but your hands can be off the wheel, but you have to watch the road at all times. Four is you don't have to watch the road anymore. Now check this out. Thor delivers up to 1,000 trillion operations per second of AI compute power. What I just said is key to the huge point here. Magna plans to unveil a working demonstration platform in Q4 2025. So what Magna is doing is combining heat sensing to pick up humans in the environment, plus imaging radar for their system. So all these autonomous systems include different elements depending on the manufacturer. So that's example two. Example three. Future Volkswagen Group MQB vehicles to get enhanced driver assistance from Valeo and Mobileye. Now, Valeo is one of the other top three tier one automotive suppliers. So two of the three now have either completed development of their autonomous system or they're going to finish it this year, 2025. VW Group MQB has announced it is working with Valeo and Mobileye to upgrade the advanced driver assistance systems up to SAE Level 2 Plus. Launching in the next few years, this cooperation will improve safety and driving comfort in high volume vehicles. Again, last three words are key there. We're going to find out why in just a second. By sourcing hardware and software together, we streamline procurement reduce complexity, and improve efficiency. Vallejo will provide high-performance ECU sensors and software parking solutions. Mobileye will contribute its surround ADAS, which represents the first design win for Mobileye. For the first time, these elements are integrated into a single system, replacing multiple ECUs with a centralized unit. That's the big point from example three tying it all together in 30 seconds here. Mobilize Surround ADAS delivers a vertically integrated solution for software-defined, hands-off, eyes-on driving using its advanced software stack from autonomous vehicle development running on a single IQ6 high system on a chip. Here is the important point of not only this example, but all three of the examples we just talked about. By lowering system costs, automakers can put these features in millions of mass market vehicles. And then similarly, this company called Luminary Cloud announced what it says is the world's first physics AI foundation model and data set designed for automotive SUV aerodynamic analysis and development. So basically, they're completely simulating the design of these systems, including wind tunnel testing now. So how did all this happen? Here's what we have. Production scale trucking coming in the next two years, but on the road starting this year. This is fully autonomous trucks from Daimler with no driver in the cab. That's this year at production scale in two years. Secondly, Magna, a monster company that supplies most of the car manufacturers, their autonomous system will be at production scale in two to three years. 
And then third, Vallejo and Mobileye, their production system will be available in a two to three years also. But what is driving all this mass market autonomy? It's NVIDIA. It is computing power. So up until these announcements, the reason they're all breakthroughs is that autonomous driving required a bunch of different system chips in the car, which is very expensive. My viewers know that a single NVIDIA H100 costs $10,000. Now, a company like Magna is buying a lot of them, so they're not paying full price like that. But it's still a significant expense to the cost of the car, which is why, because these systems are so expensive, they've only been used so far in luxury cars with high price points, 50000 up. But what has happened with NVIDIA's newest chips just announced is that they can do all this computing now on a single chip which dramatically lowers the cost and means now they can roll out autonomous driving to all of the mass market vehicles that most people drive. So to wrap this up, a quick point and a fundamental point. The quick point is autonomous cars are coming to the mass market within two to three years. But the foundational point here is, is that not only digital AI, all these breakthroughs from OpenAI, Google, Anthropic are driven by NVIDIA and dramatically increasing computing power. Now, that dramatic increase in computing power has significantly lowered the cost of autonomous driving systems, allowing them to reach the mass market. So these much more powerful system-on-a-chip processors are further increasing the exponential development rate of AI. That is the huge point to take from all this. This means that breakthroughs in both digital and physical AI, which physical AI includes not just autonomous driving, but robotics, hello, robotics, will be speeding up even more year over year now. Plus, in my opinion, these dramatically improving chips, mostly from NVIDIA, but a couple of others, are driving this whole revolution. That is the foundational technology driving AI. And the proof of that is you go back 70 years to the beginning of AI. The reason it didn't work at first was not enough computing power. It took until the last decade for computing power to get powerful enough to dramatically accelerate neural networks and AI development. So it's the computing hardware at the foundation level that is driving all this. That was the point. It's the computing power. So thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. We need your financial support to be able to continue developing resources that will keep you ahead of the now tsunami of automation that is going to start to dramatically affect the job markets in the next one to two years now. So thanks so much. See you next time. Take care. Bye.